Ralph here, and welcome to True Power Trumpet Fitness on this fabulous Friday here in Connecticut. Another scorcher, man. Another scorcher. That is one of the reasons why I put up the uh, the uh, video about uh, lemonade, water, just regular old H2O. Got to stay hydrated these days, guys. If you don't have a heart condition and you stay hydrated, extreme heat shouldn't bother you, believe it or not. Anyway, with that said, you saw the thumbnail, guys. I talked about this before, but I had a student, quite a good player, actually, that uh, had some questions about the um, drawings. Guys, listen to me. You can't obsess about the drawings. You can't. For several reasons, okay? Let me honk a few notes and I will explain why. this weekend I'm not sure what my schedule looks like but Monday through Wednesday I am bringing my baby to law school ah oh, man what a journey child rearing is and it is just it's just unbelievable unbelievable I wouldn't change one thing of the last 23 years I love her to death anyway with that said guys the drawings Several reasons. Don't obsess. Okay? Number one, anybody that knew Jerry as well as I do, and there are dozens of them out there, <clears throat> guys out there that are listening to this, that know exactly what I'm talking about. Guys, these drawings came and gone and went away like Kleenex. Guys, he I'm going to say over the years, he claims he did well over 2,000 of these drawings, okay? I don't doubt that for a minute. I'm gonna say average once a week, if not sometimes two or three a week. Guys, he was constantly evolving, constantly evolving. He would not sit tight, just let things go until he got the one SB and he said, that's it. I couldn't believe he was saying it. I had to see it for myself, and sure enough, he stopped. Perfection, he had it. Anyway, back to the drawings. Jerry, how can I say this? Now, as many of these drawings as there are, and each one is a little bit different. Guys, I think you'll agree, if anybody has any amount of drawings there, I think you'll agree, except in a couple instances, I'm going to say over the years maybe five, ten at the most instances, the changes between each drawing is very, very little. It's minute. Sometimes the drawing can be exactly the same, but the directions are just a little bit different. Sometimes, six months later, he made a drawing about something he did six months before that. And uh, it's a 
Jerry, geez, this sounds familiar. No, 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 no. I know what you're talking about. We... Okay, I, I mean, who cares? But guys, there are literally thousands of them. Okay? Now, with that said, this colleague of mine that sent me two different copies of different drawings. They were ancient. They were 20 years ago. We're not talking about the same thing. As similar as, are they, as they may be, we're not talking about the same thing. Okay? Now, that colleague, and you know who I am, I'm going to get to your question towards the end. Okay? Bear with me. Okay, so these drawings are absolutely as precious as they may be because he's now left us. They're a dime a dozen. If, if not a penny a dozen. Okay? Now, also, guys, he, he was the first one to admit you. And I've, I guess I put this into words, but he knew it. Guys, what is on these drawings? comes from a feel inside the mouth. That's all there is to it. I'm, nobody can tell if that's exactly what was going on with Jerry's tongue and, and all this sort of stuff. Nobody. Now, you can get a pretty good idea of what you're doing, but he wasn't an artist, guys. Well, what can, can, you see what I'm saying? It's not necessarily what you feel in your mouth is not necessarily what's going on in these drawings. Okay, I feel very strongly about that. Okay, now it's a good guide. There's no question it is a good guide. I like them and I use them. And I Xerox them and, and pass them out to students. But guys, it can't be the whole ball of wax, it can't. And to sit there and study, well, you know, see my tongue when I do that, it goes there and I'll, this is a big part of it. See, I can't get my tongue to do that when I press it, okay? You can't just go, you can't just go by the drawing and try to make sense of that. I pulled dozens of students off the ledge obsessing over the drawing. And there's people out there listening to this video going, yeah, I'm one of them. I'm telling you. Guys, you just can't do it, okay? What we feel is not necessarily what's going on in our mouth or what's definitely going on on the drawing, okay? Now this is getting towards the end. If I can't, if I can't um, get this whole thing in, I might do two, okay? So sit tight, sit tight. Now, some of you are visual learners and this helps, but at the end of the day, guys, we are playing by feel. We're playing by feel and you have to be able to feel the compression. Now, what you're feeling looks like this, have at it. Have at it. And remember, if you want to use one from 20 years ago, I'm telling you, it's not necessarily the same. I did a, a, a video a couple times ago. Guys that are teaching something from 20 years ago, it's not what he was doing towards the end, even though it may be a tweak. I know that sounds contradictory, but bear with me. Now, here was the question. When the tongue goes through the teeth, okay, is the bottom lip actually touching the bottom teeth? The bottom lip itself actually touching the bottom lip. When I do it, no. Okay? No. But, right at the beginning here, over on the sides, it may, depending on what register I'm in. Now, here is the thing. Here is the thing. When you are flexing a muscle, look at the gun shell, huh? Okay? It goes everywhere. It expands. It goes up, it goes down, it goes side, it gets thick at some point, it thins out at other points. And that's different for everybody. 
So the bottom lip, the tongue, both those muscles, the tongue and the bottom lip, are going to expand and they're going to splay. Okay? Now, that means these muscles are going to go in different ways. It's going to go side to side, the tongue, okay, and side occasionally. That is where I will feel my lip, bottom lip, touching my teeth. Right in the front, no, it doesn't. No, the tongue does. The tongue touches both. Now, also, the tongue expands from side to side, and the tongue expands in a firm up. So it will go higher in the oral cavity, creating more compression the more it flexes. So to answer your question, does it touch? It may, depending on how your muscles are flexing. You see what I mean? At the end of the day, guys, the only thing I can tell you is the tone will tell you. The tone will tell you. Is this right? Or is that right? The tone will tell you. Is it clear? Is it brilliant? Is it strong? Yes. Then you got it. Okay? That doesn't mean you can't tweak it. Now remember, it's just a tweak. Now, I'm going to say a good time ago. Ten years... And some of these guys that have been with Jerry a long time, Terry, Ray, at one point, I don't have the, the, um, the uh, picture in front of me, but if these are the bottom teeth, teeth, we had the tongue behind the teeth and pushing forward with the flex. Okay? So as long as some of the... And in that case, the bottom lip would touch the teeth. And we got a lot of mileage behind that. We got a lot, we, I would, we're doing that for months, if not years. Okay? And depending on which register I'm in, sometimes that tongue will flop back and I try to fix it, but it's not a bad thing necessarily to have it there, as long as there was enough tongue forward to make the, the compression with the lips. And we got, we got a lot of that. And guys coming from conventional, conventional uh, embouchures definitely, definitely feel more comfortable there. Okay? We found that even though that was effective, it's better off touching the bottom lip with the teeth, tip. Now, I hope that answers the question specifically to you know who. Okay? And guys... Guys, keep these questions coming. My students are the impetus for just about all these videos. I know what I'm doing. I know what it's supposed to feel like. But I'm trying to get the whole thing out to you guys. Okay? Now I definitely got to go. This was a run on. I knew it would be. Eat and drink fruits and vegetables and live your life with true power. Love you all. And uh, I'll try to get something this weekend. Probably won't be until next week after I get back from Delaware.